course. I want you to turn to your neighbor, to your left and your right, and tell them, Happy New Month. I'm happy to see you in church this morning. I pray that the Lord will bless you richly. Praise God. Let's turn our Bibles to the book of Psalm, chapter 40, verse 5. I would just like us to read this scripture as we open the service this morning. And I like the way the NLT version puts it. It says, Oh, the joys of those who trust the Lord. Psalm 40, verse 5, sorry. Oh, oh Lord my God, you have performed many wonders for us. Your plans for us are too numerous to list. You have no equal. If I tried to recite all your wonderful deeds, I would never come to the end of them. And this has been the testimony for each and every one of our lives from the start of the year till this point. So let's just begin to lift up the name of the Lord as we begin to exalt him, as we begin to thank him and magnify his holy name. The Lord has been good. The Lord has been faithful. He has been gracious. He has seen us through the first three months of the year, through the first quarter, and he has been faithful. Let's just lift up the name of that great God, our gracious Father, the King of kings, the Lord of all, the, the Lord of lords, the one who says a thing and it will come to pass, the God who has preserved each and every one of our lives, the God who has lifted everyone here, the God who has been there through everything, oh, the God who has been our provider, the God who has been our sustainer, the God who has been our keeper, the God who saw us through everything we went through. Let's just begin to lift up the name of this Lord. Oh, thank you, I am that I am. Thank you, thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you for everything. We want to thank you for the first quarter of the year, Lord Jesus. We thank you for your grace. We thank you, Lord God, that we were fresh, Lord God. Thank you for, like, for bringing us strength, Lord God. Thank you for doing a new thing in our lives, Lord Jesus. We pray for fresh grace. We pray for fresh desire for fresh passion for fresh strength lord jesus that would carry us through the second quarter lord jesus we just want to give you all the praise oh god i pray committing every soul here this morning lord jesus everyone who will be in this service lord god that they will not leave here the same way that they have come i want you to open your mouth and ask god for that special thing you want him to do in your life Set an expectation for the service and watch God do a miraculous thing in your life. Tell him what you want to get from this service. Tell him what it is that you want him to do in your life. That need you want him to meet. That situation you want his intervention in. Just open up your mouth this morning and magnify the name of the Lord. Invite him into your life. Invite him into your situation. Prepare your heart for the move that he's about to do in your life this morning. Oh, Lord God, everyone under the sound of my voice this morning will not leave this service the same way that they have come, Lord God. They will leave here with their miracle. They will leave here with their deliverance. They will leave here, Lord God, with that special thing that you will do in their lives, Lord Jesus. I want to give you all the praise. Oh, Lord God, we magnify your holy name, precious Father. There is none like you. Oh, Lord Jesus, lives will be transformed. Broken hearts will be mended, Lord Jesus that you would do a new thing. Oh, your presence will be mightily upon us this morning, Lord Jesus. We pray for your presence from the start to the end of this service, Lord Jesus, that you will do miraculous things this morning, Lord Jesus. You will send fresh blessings. You will send fresh favor. You will send fresh anointing. You will send, oh, Lord Jesus, your presence. And your presence, Lord God, will dwell amongst us this morning, Lord Jesus. We just want to give you all the glory. We want to give you all the praise. Oh, Lord God, we magnify your holy name. We believe in faith that you are here with us this morning, Lord Jesus. And because of that, we want to open this service in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. We declare this service open in Jesus' name. It's a new month. I want you to put on your dancing shoes and dance like David danced. If indeed you are happy to be in the month of April, put on your dancing shoes as we welcome the Jesus House Choir. Praise the Lord! Power, be your soothing. 
shall bless the Lord at all times. He's good. My hallelujah belongs to you. My hallelujah belongs. Complete it for me, thank you. Hallelujah. Sing my hallelujah. My hallelujah belongs to you. Oh, sing my hallelujah. My hallelujah belongs to you. One more time, sing. Jesus name we have worshiped in Jesus name we have praised Lord Jesus even as we have exalted your name this beautiful new day Lord Jesus we ask that you accept our praise we ask that you accept our worship in the mighty name of Jesus in Jesus name we praised 
Yeah, please, can we all take our seats? Welcome, your, um, just turn to your left, turn to your right. Welcome everyone to church. Tell them, one, welcome to this wonderful new month. Tell them beautiful things. Tell them they look wonderful today. It's now time for testimonies. And if you have a testimony, would you like to share? Please, you know, come forward and share your testimony. Anybody? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, church. God has been good. God has been gracious. He's been so kind to me. Just want to share a testimony for all the amazing things he's done in my life. I can't begin to name them one by one. Since the start of this year, I think I haven't experienced so many miraculous things from God as I have this year. And I just want to give him all the praise. He's done so many things. But the main thing I'm here to thank God for is not for his blessings. Um, some of them I will still testify in the future, but mainly just for spiritual growth. That's the biggest thing I want to thank God for today. Seeing who I was in December and seeing who I am today, I am a completely different person by the grace of God. I just want to thank God for, for the grace to and, and for the privilege to know more of him and to serve him as well and the many things that that has done in my life and the many ways that has transformed my life as well mm -hmm. so it's a testimony of encouragement for anyone as well who is seeking to go deeper into their relationship with god or seeking to know about god there is grace for it and it's the most fulfilling thing ever i just want to thank god for that um, and thank god for my family thank god for the first quarter of the year I marched forward by God's grace. I, I marched forward in the first quarter of the year. The amazing things I have experienced, I was able to hear God's voice more clearly than I have in my whole life. Mm -hmm. I felt like I was walking with God every day and just feeling the presence of God around me, which is a massive, massive privilege. There's no better feeling than knowing that God is with you as you're going through your day and as you're going through life. I just want to thank God for his presence upon my life and for the grace to grow spiritually. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I would also like to share a testimony. Oh, there's another person. Oh. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I just want to thank God for his faithfulness. Yesterday, being the first day of uh, the month of April, and the first day of the second quarter, God gave me a gift. Yeah. <laughs> I was in the library, busy with my coursework. I just, okay, decided to, uh, you know, check my mail, and lo and behold, I saw the, I mean, offer and the employment from, I mean, Euro Exim Bank. In fact, I couldn't believe it. I was like, how could this have happened? And also, by the grace of God, on Wednesday 4th, I have another interview. So it's more or less like picking between the best now. So I want to give God praise that uh, indeed God has been so faithful. Praise Amen. the Lord. Amen. Uh, just quickly share my own testimony. I want to thank God because I went through a few, like a rough patch in this, the ending of this month. And even in the rough patch, God was still there. And every time I prayed, this month, God helped me. He always showed up miraculously, and He's been so good. And He's seen me through the rough patch, and I thank God for that. In Jesus' name, we pray. I'd like to invite our um, senior pastor and just invite everyone to, you know, bow their heads and, you know, prepare their hearts for the um, word as we listen. In Jesus' name. Let's stand together. Oh, Lord, my God. <laughs> when I hear some wonder, oh, consider all thy works, thy hands have made. Oh, do you see the stars of God? I see the star, I hear the rolling thunder, thy power throughout the universe display. 
And what do you respond? Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. Oh, we bow our hearts and in worship our great thou art. Oh, Lord, my God, our great thou art. And sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. Oh, Lord, my God, our great Thou art great. We're gonna the last stanza, the last stanza. When Christ shall come, we are so Father, Lord, we, out of gratitude, out of joy, Father, oh Lord, out of honor, out of worship, out of fear, out of respect, out of submission to authority, we bow our hearts this morning. We bow our lives this morning. We bow, oh Lord, every inch of us we bow our knees if you can buy your knees for a minute you can buy your knees also lord we bow our knees this morning Hallelujah, oh lord we bow our heads we bow our very lives everything Hallelujah, that is us and within us we bow this morning in this first sunday in the month of april in the springtime we bow before you we testify that you are lord you are king oh you are our father we testify that there is no one like you we testify that we have no god but you we testify that we have no other authority but you oh we testify that our oh lord our whole lives oh lord we submit to you as we knew we are saying we submit our lives to you again if there's any way we've been singing mainly in control of our own things this morning we put you we will hand over we can't control back to you again oh lord and lord i thank you also that we will find oh lord we follow your pattern we wait to hear your instructions we wait to hear your word you are our lord you are our king you are our general you are everything to us so we wait to hear what you will say it's not just about us but it's all about you
we worship and glorify your holy name this morning lord i also pray for your people as your people your church we go into the springtime as we go into the the easter season lord i pray that everyone will catch the spirit and oh lord of warfare everyone will catch the spirit of easter the lord i pray that we will arise and oh lord that people will arise to fulfill their destinies your people will arise to fulfill the glorious eyes you have for them i pray that you will find us as a people ready for your use ready for your purposes having submitted an authority in it we now wait what is the authority wanting us to do oh we worship you we glorify your holy i pray for victories all around thank you for the wonderful testimonies that we have we have heard already incredible testimonies of breakthroughs and open doors and new liftings and new jobs and and new marriages and and new babies and oh lord but new things are coming forth in this season because you brought forth a new what we now know as salvation it all came also in springtime it came in easter time resurrection came therefore i prayed resurrection shall be all around the house in the name of jesus whatever thing or place that needs resurrection in every life receive resurrection in this season in the name of jesus whatever needs a, a, a fire of the holy spirit receive fire in the name of the most high god oh in your in your is there somebody this morning you're sick in the body or you are standing in the gap for somebody in the body receive healing receive healing receive healing you will experience the residential healing power and receive healing this is in the name of jesus thank you father thank you lord of all lords for we pray this morning in jesus christ's name amen amen please stand together as we take one god's word for today for this season Hallelujah. We're going to read from two portions of scripture. Um, the book of Esther chapter 3. Esther chapter 3. And then we're going to go on to uh, Esther chapter 3. Okay. Esther chapter 3. Okay. Um, we're going to read a few verses, not all of it. It says, after, this, after these things, King Ahasuerus, let's read together. After all these things. Keep on reading. Yeah. Just keep on keep on going. Read up to six. from um, verse 10 to 16, the end of uh, 10 to 15 years. Go ahead. Stop there. Amen. The Lord bless one to our hearts and spirits in Jesus' name. Amen. Please have your seats. For us in this new season, I think you have the you, you have the the, the 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 word for this period. Um, but for us in this new season, um, uh, the season 
we are in right now is a season of many things. Number one is a season, is a season. And when I mean season, I'm talking about a quarter, essentially, not just a month. This is the beginning of the, of the month, but it's also the beginning of a new season for us. It's a new quarter. This quarter, geographically, is called springtime. Is that okay? And for those of us here in the time of we understand this more than everyone else. You can see the things are getting warmer. The leaves are coming back again after the winter season. So the first thing is springtime. Uh, that's the first thing of the season. The second aspect of this season is that it's Easter season for us who are believers. It's Easter season. Okay? It's Easter season. And then when you also then bring it down to, to um, the observation of what is going on around us, um, observation of what, because we, we, are, we, are all, we are called amongst us to have men who can interpret times and seasons. Okay? So the times we are in right now is, is a time of change of power. Power is changing. So here in another kingdom, we've had within the last is it six months now, we've had a, a, a queen pass on after 70 years. We have a new king coming into office. Okay? We've had three prime ministers. Now we're in our third prime minister. Power is changing out very quickly. It may look um, just like um, it's just politics. But you see, everything has a spiritual connotation. The scripture says to the spiritual, everything is what? Spiritual. To the carnal, everything is carnal. Some people just read, oh, it's, just, it's just politics. But for those of us who are spiritual, we go back and ask questions. Oh, Lord, what's going on? And we know that there's, a spirit, there's something going on in the spiritual. So you see change. Here in Scotland, I said a month ago, we didn't know we are going to have a new first minister. Elections are still some years away. But within a few, within a month, we've had a new, and this past week now, we had a new first minister. Okay? And this first minister is a lot of believers are upset and complaining and grumbling. And I'm going to talk about that in a minute. Okay? What else? Um, in this season as well, too, at the beginning of May, we're going to have the king coronation. So there are two dimensions there. The king has become king because he was, according to the laws of the land, he succeeded his, the previous queen. He's the heir. He, he was the heir, now he's the king. What happened when he followed that? The people accepted that. The government accepted that. But the coronation is God's, it's, 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 he's presenting himself that God will make him king. That is the difference. The coronation is not about thank God for the ceremonies. It's where the oil will be poured upon him. He will be anointed as king. Do you get that? The last time this was seen in this now was 70 years ago. None of us here was alive 70 years ago. So I want you to catch the sense of what is going on in this season. May you not be asleep Amen. when things are going on in, this, in, this, in the spiritual and I know some of us come, some people here, you have origin from a country called Nigeria. Nigeria is also changing power in this same season. One way or another, power is changing hands. But interestingly, the power is changing hands, the way that people, a lot of people are upset. But I've come to you to tell you this morning, and I don't know if you've seen this, the, the, um, the, so the team for this month, uh, you, 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 uh, uh, have you seen that? Can you put that forward? The team for this month. What's the team for this month? Our team for this, not just for this month, rather, just for this season. It's going to be the same team we're going to run from April, May, June. And then from there, we're going to July, we're going to um, our penial season. Jesus is not an army. In Jeremiah, in Jeremiah chapter 6, 22. Jeremiah 6, 22. Please, can I ask you to please put this on your social media? Now, let me ask now, is there anybody that doesn't want, want to put it on social media? Let me hear you. Any reason why you won't put it? Because we put all kinds of things on our social media. Is this important? Help me now, help me, help me, help me, help me. We're in church. Church is not a... Is this important? Will you put it on social media? Some people are not, are not speaking. Spiritual authority. If you're not, you're not, you're not forced to do it. I'm only asking so that if you don't understand why... <laughs> So what does the scripture say? It says, it says, Lord, behold, the people come from a north country 
and the great nation will be raised from the farthest part of the earth. God needs an army. In this season, we choose to be a northern army. We're in the north of Europe. We're in the north of United Kingdom. So we want we choose now, Lord, you need an army for this season. We please use us as part of this your army. And individually, we have come from all nations. We've come from Spain, from Romania, from from uh, from from uh, from Portugal, from these. We all have origins of different United States, Nigeria, Ghana, Syria alone, and Mozambique. We have different nationalities, different foundations. But here we are now, Lord. Please make us a northern army. We present yourself ourselves as a northern army. Do you get it? I hope you, you, you are catching the drift of where we are going. So we present ourselves as a northern army. Let me uh, begin to show you a few things about the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God is a kingdom of warfare. And in the Bible studies from this Tuesday onwards, we're going to be teaching about the, the warfare in the kingdom of God. Whenever I ask you about warfare, one thing we all understand, I am the thing is war in prayers, isn't it? But that's not just the only warfare in the kingdom of God. So, some about 5,000 years ago, it's about 5,000 years ago, at springtime, at springtime, the Lord took Israel out of captivity in Egypt. The captivity, the ten plagues, and then the final lift going out of Egypt. The Passover, and then the destruction of the armies of Pharaoh on the bank of the rest. It took place about the same time. About the same time. It took place at springtime. Passover, that's why you can see the Jews, they celebrate Passover. And this Passover is the remembrance of when God delivered the Israelites out of Egypt at springtime in Passover, in this same season. When you go out to, to 2 Samuel chapter 11, verse 1, 2 Samuel 11, verse 1, the scripture says, that it was uh, at springtime when things when kings go to war and you know you and i we are sons and daughters of god we are sons and daughters of god sons and daughters of god are people who go who are taught how to do warfare and who have to go and fight we just read concerning what was happening in the time of of uh, of Mordecai when the enemy was planning, they were living their lives normally thinking everything was good, but the enemy was plotting. And the enemy actually gained territory. Enemy, enemy, one of the enemy folks became prime minister. And then while he was prime minister, after so many years, he began to plot to kill the Jews. <laughs> we are online, I'm not going to say so many things else, but if you can read, I'm sure you can interpret the rest of that sentence. What, you, what the things that will normally follow? One of the things people, one of the principles of that you place your people in power, and then they will execute an agenda. Joseph went into power because there was an agenda. Pharaoh had a, Pharaoh, Pharaoh knew there's a problem coming, so he needed somebody who could help him solve the problem. He didn't understand what the problem was, but knew it was a problem, so he, he found Joseph to, to to execute his agenda. So Haman comes in as the best candidate appointed by the king as, and of course he becomes the rest of the story. So let, I, I'm trying to convince you now that this season is a season for warfare. In Exodus chapter 12, Exodus chapter 12, from verse 37 to verse 42, you see where the Lord in the summary of the point where the Lord delivered the Israelites out of Egypt. It says, on that day, the, the children of Israel journeyed from Ramesses. A mixed multitude came with them also. But if you go on to verse 41, verse 41, 
It says, and it came to pass at the end of 430 years, on that same very day, it came to pass that all the armies of the, of the Lord went out from the land of... See, we, normally we read that all the people of Israel, the Jews, were led out of what? Out of Egypt. They were delivered. But the scripture actually says what? It was an army God was taking out. They were normal people, it, the, the Jews, but he led them out and they became an army that became a nation. It was a night of solemn remembrance for, 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 to the Lord for the bringing out of, of the land. It is that night of the Lord, a solemn observ, observ, observance for all, or, or for all time. Another translation says, it was a night when the Lord kept watch to bring them out of Egypt. That same night is dedicated to the Lord for all time to come as a night when the Jews must keep watch. It was a night when the Lord did night vigil. Moses and the people were down on here, but the angels were fighting. And the Lord himself did a night vigil to see. So the Lord himself was fighting. Hallelujah. So this is the season that we are in right now. The cross represents many things. Represents resurrection. Represents salvation. Represents, but the cross is a cross, is a season of warfare. It was a season of warfare. It was the warfare that brought the victory. It was a season of what? Warfare. Christ was the one who was in the, in the midst of it all. The word in prayer. And then the final one episode we know is the God of Gethsemane. When he prayed so much that, that his, his sweat was like tears. The war in, the word in prayer. And then the Bible says that when, he, when, he, when, when, when Christ was, was, was gave up on the cross, he went to the Hades and went to, to defeat Satan and take back from him all the authority he had stolen from Adam. So when he arose on Resurrection Sunday, hallelujah, he arose getting back everything that Satan has stolen. So I tell you, this warfare season is a season of reclaiming everything that's your own. I saw somebody, somebody hearing that. It's a season in which people enter into their liberty. That's why the Israelites gained their liberty, their freedom in springtime. Our resurrection, our salvation, our entry into Christ came as what? Springtime. So we are called to go and war in this season. And we're going to war a good warfare. And the good thing about it for us as believers is that we always know the end of every warfare. If we war it according to the Spirit. And what is the end of every warfare? We are overcomers. We have already overcome because it's not just us going to win. Christ and the armies of heaven, they've given us the victory. It's just for us to step forward. That's why in this season, we're going to be going out to war. Hallelujah. Are you excited? But of course, there are a number of other things, the principles and the steps and so much else we're going to be talking about. So I'll give you a few, a few, a few dimensions of what we're going to be doing. Now, when you go and read the book of Esther, we're going to spend a lot of time in Esther seeing the warfare, the pattern of warfare. When it was time for Esther to go and win battle, she went, they all had to pray and fast for three days. So, so we're opening this season uh, for by three days fasting and prayer for those who want to join in. And um, from Monday this week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, it's fasting and prayer. And we're going to meet in every evening uh, here in the sanctuary you know, from uh, 6 p.m. Uh, we're going to be meeting, and it's going to be a different type of prayer. We're calling the groaning room prayer. Can you, can you, help, can you help me? Three days of, 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 of in the groaning room. In the groaning room is where things are giving, are giving birth to. God gave me a revelation about this some years ago, and it's time to, to, to unveil it to the church. 
So where prayer and fasting bed shapes and restores lives and destinies. Esther went into the Esther and her generation went into the groaning room for three days. And by the time they came out, they went to war. And then victory was theirs. Hannah, after many years of going to Shiloh, she went into the groaning room herself. The groaning room is like the betting, the labor room. In other words, and at the end, destinies are, are shaped. Destinies are bet. Destinies are restored. And nations are, 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 are built. It was the challenge of Haman that led the Jews to take, they do what they did. At the end, they became the ones in control. Hallelujah. That's what we are going to be. We're going to be we're going three days fasting prayer. We're going to we'll send the points out, you know, and we'll meet physically for those who can come physically. Um, above, and then, of course, not just praying. We're also praying for whatever, whatever you need to be bettered in this season. Comfort and open, open the season with, with that. Easter weekend, for us, is a warfare weekend. Easter season is a warfare weekend. On Friday, we'll be marching together with other believers carrying the cross around the city for those who can, you know, uh, join us. We're also relaunching the new army, uh, the, 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 the new army. They're going to be marching out. Easter Saturday, Easter Saturday, we're having a, a, prayer, a, a prayer conference in the morning with, uh, for, business, for Christian business people and, and, and civic leaders, you know, um, as somebody cares. And then, in the, in the, and then from the afternoon, the youths are gathered of, around Abedin, coming here just to discuss the future of the city. To, to, to discuss the future of the city. All the, all the youths, please, all of the, all the youth workers join them. And then on Sunday, we have Easter service. And then after that, we go straight out to, the, to Castle Gate, where we're going to be doing a huge, we call it concert, but it's a declaration about the city. Hallelujah. And then, of course, we're going to do many things after that. Let's stand together as we begin to, 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 to bring this together. Hallelujah. Oh, thanks. Just, just lift up your hands towards heaven. Oh, Lord, I just pray for your people, oh, Lord, that great new things will be bettered in this season. Father, oh, Lord, great new things will be bettered in this season. In the name of Jesus. Great things will be bettered in this season. In the name of Jesus. Lord, rest, there shall be restoration in this season. Father, new nations shall comfort in this season. New families new careers, new businesses, and anyone that has been under a bondage or oppression of any type shall be liberty in this season in the name of Jesus. Receive liberty in this season in the name of Jesus. Receive liberty in this season in the name of Jesus. And if you want to be part of God's army, say, Lord, I'm, I'm, I, I, I submit myself this morning as, a, as, as part of your army. Lord, I'm going to, I, I, I signed up for the, for, for the battles ahead. Oh, Father, Lord, I thank you. I signed up for the battles ahead in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty and glory. In Jesus' name. The question I have for you this morning is, are you on the Lord's army? Are you on the Lord's army? Let's just say a prayer for our senior pastor, Pastor Mark. Let's just commit his life into the hands of God. Let's thank him for the word he has brought forth this morning. Let's thank God for revelation to be able to tell us what season we're in so we could prepare for what lies ahead of us. Let's thank God already for the victory that has been won. Let's thank God because we're already overcomers. And let's thank him for the grace to fight this battle, for the grace to go into this warfare and to come out victorious in Jesus' name. Thank you for your son, Lord Jesus, who has come forth to deliver the word this morning, Lord God. We want to thank you, Lord God. We pray and ask, Lord Jesus, even as virtue has come out of him, Lord God, that you would replenish him, Lord Jesus. You continue to replenish him, Lord God, and he'll continue to be a blessing, Lord God, to us and to the nations. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for it's in Jesus' name we have prayed. Praise the Lord. Please be seated. It's now time for our tithe and offering. If there's any tither in the house this morning, I would like to encourage us to please step forward. In the meantime, I would like us to read a scripture from the book of Proverbs. Proverbs chapter 3 from verse 9 and 10. Proverbs 3, 9 and 10. Honor the Lord with your possessions and with your and the first fruits of all your increase, 
so your barns will be filled with plenty and your vats will overflow with new wine. This is a scripture encouraging us to honor the Lord with our first fruits of our possession. So if there are any titles, if there are any titles in the house this morning, please step forward and we'd just like to seek a word of prayer as you honor the Lord with your first fruits. I'll just say a quick word of prayer over the offering and then we'll invite the Jesus House Choir to lead us as we give on to God. Heavenly Father, we just want to give you all the praise. We want to give you all the glory, all the honor, and all the adoration. We thank you for each and every one of your sons and daughters seated here this morning who have come, Lord Jesus, to give out of the abundance of blessings that you've bestowed upon them, Lord God. Even as they have come to return a fraction of that in obedience to your word, Lord Jesus, it's my prayer, Lord God, that you would bless them. You would fill their bands with so much new wine, Lord God, that there will be no room to contain, Lord God. You will surprise them. You would send a special blessing to their lives, Lord Jesus, and you will continue to bless them, Lord God, with your many riches and wealth. Thank you, Heavenly Lord God and Father, for it's in Jesus' name we have prayed. Praise the Lord. Let's please be on our feet as we give on to God. I hope you've been blessed by the service this morning. What was your response? Praise God. Let's be on our feet, please, as we take our monthly declarations. And I want us to say this with so much passion and conviction in our heart. Let's start. We're a grateful people and grateful church. We'll always be grateful and will never forget God's goodness and kindness to us, to the brethren and churches in the Jesus House Scotland family and RCCG. We will this week go everywhere and tell everyone who will listen how great and good the Lord is to us. We will make them jealous by boasting about the greatest kindness and goodness of our Father God that we are enjoying every day. We go out into this week as passionate world changers to forcefully expand God's kingdom influence and authority in our lives, homes, my neighborhood, my work and environment and across the city, nation and the world. Dear Lord, this is perfect jubilee springtime season so we present ourselves and pray the lord to release divine power to help and push us all into great planting great progress unusual promotions and breakthroughs all round settlement i will fulfill god's thoughts plans and purposes concerning me in jesus's mighty name Let's repeat this last one one more time. I will fulfill God's thoughts, plans, and purposes concerning me in Jesus' mighty name. Praise God. Let's share the grace in fellowship. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen and amen.